I ain't marching anymore, sometimes titled I ain't marching anymore, or simply I ain't a marching anymore, is an anti-war song by Phil Ox, a U.S. protest singer from the 1960s known for being a passionate critic of the American military industrial complex. Originally released on his 1965 album of the same name. I Ain't Marching Anymore is one of Ock's best known songs. Ox said of this song, it borders between pacifism and treason, combining the best qualities of both. He wrote, quote, the fact that you won't be hearing this song on the radio is more than enough justification for the writing of it. different fights I was there at the little big horn I heard many men lying I saw many more dying but I ain't a marching anymore it's always the old to lead us to the wars always the young to fall now look at all we want with a saber and the gun tell me is it worth it all for I stole California from the Mexican land Fought in the bloody Civil War Yes, I even killed my brothers and so many others But I ain't a-marching anymore For I marched to the battles of the German trench In a war that was bound to end all wars Oh, I must have killed a million men And now they want me back again But I ain't anymore it's always the old to lead us to the wars always the young to fall now look at all we've won with a saber and the gun tell me is it worth it all for i flew the final mission in the japanese skies set off the mighty mushroom roar when I saw the cities burning, I knew that I was learning that I ain't a marching anymore. Now the labor leaders screaming when they close a the missile plant. United Fruit screams at the Cuban shore. Call it peace or call it treason, call it love or call it reason, but I ain't a marching anymore. Battle of New Orleans at the end of the early British wars. The young land started growing, the young blood started flowing, but I ain't a marching anymore. For I killed my share of engines in a thousand different fights. I was there at the little big horn. I heard many men lying, I saw many more a dying, but I ain't a marching anymore. It's always the old to lead.
lead us to the wars Always the young to fall Now look at all we want with a saber and a gun Tell me is it worth it all Philip David Ox, born December 19th, 1940. He died um, in the spring of 1976. Songwriter and protest singer, or as he preferred, a topical singer. He was known for his sharp wit, sardonic humor, political activism, and of course, his distinctive voice. He wrote hundreds of songs from the 1960s to the early 1970s and released eight albums. After years of prolific writing in the 1960s, Ock's mental stability declined in the 1970s. He had a number of mental health problems, including depression, bipolar disorder, and alcoholism. He died by suicide in 1976. So the song, I definitely can appreciate the point of view. I think it takes a very special person or people to go against the grain. He was screaming from the top of the mountains, why all the killing? Stop already. So I thought going into this, I thought maybe, okay, the Vietnam War is what this was about. This was about all war. This was about the history of killing other human beings for political purposes. This was about the solution that we call war through the years. And I absolutely appreciate that point of view. It's always the old that lead us to the wars. It's always the young to fall. Now look at all we've won with the saber and the gun. Tell me, is it worth it at all? As far as Phil's voice, I really dig it here. The urgency, the declarative spirit of this piece, an incredibly poignant and very necessary point of view to be shared with the world in my humble opinion i ain't marching anymore i absolutely loved it <laughs> 